I grow flowers and sell them mainly to floral designers for weddings or other events. When I see my blooms in a big bouquet every time, I really cannot get tired of this. I am trying to grow chrysanthemum, so it's my third year. I just, I'm just crazy about them. I love the smell, I'm just so into it. I, I don't think I can ever grow tired of these. I kind of forget about time. I don't mind the weeding. I grow my seedlings in my basement. Whenever I tell my mother, oh, I'm going to be downstairs for 15 minutes, she knows I'm not going to show up before an hour and a half, for sure. <laughs> I just forget about time. Jalbert has a, a good eye. He's good with making bouquets. Uh, he doesn't have boundaries. He doesn't know any technique. He's just going with whatever he thinks. He's open-minded. With the flowers, not only we get to see the customer, but we get to see their reaction. There's more people in the farming now that are trying to do more environmental practices and have less erosion for the soil and more nutrients for your next crop. So there's a lot of new technology coming out and new practices that people are kind of thinking outside the box to help the environment and the profitability at the same time. So I said, well, one way I can help is still bring more income with flowers because that's what I like to do. Even if I'm tired, I keep doing it anyway. I guess that's what passion is. <laughs> I used to not like flowers because I thought it was not useful. But once I started growing flowers, it's the wow factor. Like I can bring I can bring flowers to a florist who has seen thousands during the week and he's still gonna be oh, wow. <laughs> so that's mainly why I keep on with the flowers more than the vegetables.